my name's Kevin and I'm sorry I can't be with you here in person today for the introductory lecture to this wonderful module which is always a huge pleasure to, to be part of. I'm always amazed by the journeys that the students go on in this course and the, the stuff that gets created is really amazing. So it's a great honour for me actually to be uh, working with you on this module, on this project. Um, it's very broad, we're going to go and explore lots of different uh, theories, activities, it's very practical, it's really fun, so I'm, yeah, you're in a great place and you're going to have a great time with us, uh, with our lovely team of tutors. Um, I will meet you for the first time in a few weeks when we start the movement part of the module and a little bit about my background. Um, I am a movement practitioner in a wide range of different areas, including a PE teacher with children, as well as a folk dancer uh, for parties and festivals and um, uh, events. Also, I'm a musician and I lead choirs and um, yeah, so very, very different things. I also teach adults about Waldorf education or Steiner education, which is a special kind of uh, pedagogical approach or educational approach. Um, and actually that's why I'm not able to be with you at, at the moment because I'm away in Taiwan and working with some adults here. So that's a little bit about me. Um, and now, uh, finally, I'd just like to uh, introduce a task which I've prepared for you because I wasn't able to be here in person. And it's a task that you can't do now. It's something to do in your own time, whenever you want to, over the next week or two. It's a, a treasure hunt that I have prepared around campus. So I've laid some clues all around the Goldsmiths College campus and when you find the clue, it will give you a little task that you have to do in order to get the next clue. So I hope that sounds appealing. And I don't think there's anything else I need to tell you. Let me just scan my thoughts for a moment. Um, you will need a phone, a mobile phone, uh, that can scan QR codes to be able to do the first clue. So um, if you don't have one, perhaps you could work with someone who does. Um, yeah, that's all you need to know. So now I've, um, I will cut to another video that I've prepared, which shows me hiding the first clue to give you a bit of a, uh, uh, or give you a clue <laughs> as to where it is. And here I am in the place where the clue is going to be hidden. So you've got a little bit of a clue there as to where it might be. And that is what it looks like. Uh, I've matched it with my top. And um, that is going to go in here and just be hidden there. So if you can find where this is, then you can take it out, get the QR code and get taken to the next place and um, please leave it there for the next people. Thank you. Okay, so one more piece of information to help you find the first clue. I have a short code which will help you if you can crack it. And the code is Sierra Uniform. That's Sierra Uniform. That's the code. If you can crack that, it will help you find where I've hidden the first clue. And then off you go on your treasure hunt. So that's it from me for now. Thanks very much for listening and look forward to meeting you in a short while.